Welcome to another one of my now infamous cargo short and t-shirt videos. I'm going to explain to you something today that is really going to clarify two things, plane and release, and not about mechanically implementing it like we've been taught to do and putting the clubs into positions. You're going to learn how to feel what plane and release are. Now a lot of people have seen me do trick shot shows and were not just amazed at how far I could hit it off my knees, but how straight, even straighter than I hit it off my feet. And the reason is, is the shorter you are, the more your shoulders are going to be level to the ground when you bend over and get in a golfing position. And when you're off your knees, your shoulders are almost completely level to the ground, so it's really easy for them to turn level, okay? So I'm going to illustrate about plane and release using a ball that is going to be level if you're standing straight up and down. So a level shoulder turn is level to the ground and you're going to see how easy it is to keep it on plane and to release it just by feel and how some of these golf cliches get in our way. Hopefully I can get the ball to stay up here. Okay, now as you can see, if you put the club out straight away where the ball is, it's really easy to turn level. And it would make perfect sense to hit this ball would be to keep the club on level with the ball because that would be the easiest way to hit it. If the club is always on the level of the ball, you don't have to make many adjustments. Well, now you know what swing plane is. It's if you keep it on the level with the ball, and bend over at the waist and the knees, that's the same move. See, so now if I stand up, the club is at the level of the ball. So you always want to swing where the club is level at the ball. So you can go up to the ball, and take it away to about right there. Then you bend your knees and at the waist, and you're perfectly on plane. Take a full back swing, club is level with the ball, bend at the knees, on plane. So that is what on plane is. So now we'll talk about the release. A lot of people will say that too much club rotation is bad, not consistent, hard to time. Well, to me, it's the way your body works naturally. If you stand up here with the club level to the ball and you turn, you will notice that your arm will naturally want to bend and your hands will naturally want to set. Okay, so if you just make a level shoulder turn, that's a perfect backswing right there, and you'll see that the club is pointed to the sky. Now, you want the club to get back to square when it gets back to the ball, and as you turn through the ball, the opposite happens. Your left elbow starts to bend, and you will start to feel the club rotating closed. So what a natural release is gonna feel like is if you stand up straight, you take a back swing to where the club is pointed to the sky, turn to where the club is square again where the ball would be, and then turn where all the way over here it's going to be a mirror image, the club is still level except pointed to the ground. So to look at it, club to the sky, square to hit, over to the ground. Okay. So you don't have to time that. And when you do it slowly, you don't, aren't involving centrifugal force. And what centrifugal force will do is as you're turning and generating speed, it, the club will want to go away from you and make your arms extend and square the club. So you don't have to do the rotation on your own. If, the, if you rotate the club here and you swing, centrifugal force gets that full extension and the club square. So all you want to do is do nothing to fight that natural rotation that your body will make just by swinging the club level to the ground. Now, that is really, really important. All you need to do is stand straight up and down and turn. And you'll feel your right elbow want to bend. And as your right elbow bends and your hands set, 
you notice the club will rotate toward the sky. You don't need to do it on purpose. Just by being relaxed and turning level, it will happen automatically. As it will also square, and your arms will get extended where the ball would be, and then start to rotate closed. All this is is, is to t teach you to learn what the feel of being on level plane and what the ro natural rotation, bending of the right in the backswing, bending of the left in the follow through if you're a right handed golfer. Just swinging like this and letting the natural rotation happen is what will help you learn what swinging on plane and what a release feels like. Then just bend at the waist, bend at the knees, and just try and repeat that same feel and you'll have it. And just to show you what bad things you can do um, by implementing cliches, I'll show you how it gets the ball off plane. Everybody's familiar with inside and over the top, okay? Inside and over the top. Watch what happens when I stand up. How am I gonna hit the ball from there, okay? So then we'll go the famous inside out. Inside, stand up. How am I gonna hit that ball from there? That's the complications you're giving yourself when you do these things. Um, adding lag. Okay? Look at that. The club is underneath the golf ball, thus the term underneath the plane. I could sit here, you can do the experiments yourself. Do implement all sorts of funny things that you were taught to do while standing at a regular posture and then stand up straight and you'll see the club will be here and wide open, up here and closed, you know, into the ball and way wide open where holding lag will get you underneath all sorts of bad places but you can do those experiments yourself and see where your natural swing now takes you to the ball so just get up here make your natural swing and stand up see that's level so i'm on the right path 